Good day to you. This is uh, Tidy Up for Adobe After Effects. Um, tidy Up loads from the window menu. Uh, once you've been installed, there's a little guide to that at the end of the video. Loads up in its own little dockable UI, so you can drag and drop this anywhere in your interface. I'm just going to let it float for now. Um, tidy Up will be in, is included with uh, Corner Cutters, which is this package up here. Um, so this is version 3, which isn't there yet, but just in case you, you buy it on its own and then buy Corner Cutters. Um, just so you know, it's included with Corner Cutters. Um, it's also launchable from the Files uh, Run Scripts menu. And it also integrates with FT Toolbar, so you can uh, run it in multiple different ways. A um, few updates in this version, a um, few user requests that made sense, etc. Um, I originally made this because of inheriting projects from other people that were a complete mess. Um, any uh, professional users of After Effects, when you, you, you get a project with untitled everything folders and whatever it, it can often take a long time to get your head around a project and see what's what and what feeds into what so tidy up sorts items by type um, so you launch it click it there there's the ui so straight away i'm just going to click here sort items okay so you can see your project panel is nice and tidy and sorted by type okay oops so you can see everything there one um, useful aspect of it is it isolates your missing footage. So if you just wanted to sort out your missing stuff, you could click the button and now you can double click on these guys and replace the footage. OK, I'm just going to undo that. Control Z on a PC. I think it's Apple undo on a Mac. Um, uh, so, so just go back to so say I have two that's great, isn't it? My alarm goes off. Time to get up. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, say you new edition. If you have, uh, you can tidy within folders. So, say I have two projects here, and I only want to tidy this particular project. So, we have this focus tidy. Two options: tidy in selected. So, tidy in the selected folder. Sort items. So now it's tidied everything in that project, but not that project. So that's going to be quite useful. So it'll tidy within any folder specifically. Uh, the other option would be ignore selected. So if I don't want to tidy that folder and I want to tidy everything else in the project, sort items, everything else is sorted, as you can see there, except that folder. Okay, going to undo that again, go back to normal. Okay, so I have a new addition down here at the bottom, pre-comps. So how that works is it looks for a prefix. So when I make a pre-comp, I always, as I'm naming it, I make it F dash, personally standing for feeder. So I like to think that a pre-comp feeds into a master comp at the end. So that's quite handy in terms of, say, this would be final render and everything starting with F dash feeds into final render. I'll just delete them for the time being. So you can set this to whatever you want. So I set it to F dash. Um, so when I, oops, I need to turn off focus to sort everything. So sort items. And now in pre comps, it's found every comp that starts with F dash. So that's a really nice way of tidying away if you have like 50 pre-comps feeding into a master one to, you know, all you have to do is stick to a naming convention and everything is nice and tidy. Um, now, all these edit fields are uh, up to you. They're saved in settings between sessions. So if you were French, Les Solides, I think in French, uh, this could be, you could name every pre-comp with pre dash or maybe P dash. And um, so now if I've sorted items, there's nothing in pre comps because it's looking for comps that start with P dash. Okay. Um, and when you exit this and uh, load it up again or have a new session, all these are um, saved to whatever you like to uh, call them. Now you can tidy um, 
you can selectively tidy by you know ticking these on or off so you can just tidy missing footage across a whole project if you want or sort you know um, drag out all your vector EPS files into one folder by unticking these and just just sorting vectors if that's what you want okay so that's pretty much um, what it does uh, the nice thing sometimes is you can use it as you're working through a project so it can start um, set things up and then when you're halfway through a project where you've, things are getting a bit out of control again you can just run it again get everything nice and tidy and um, uh, you know it's it's a great way to just keep on top of a project and uh, show a project who's boss okay a um, few utilities up here um, that could be useful I'm just gonna undo that again go back to normal um, these are shortcuts, remove unused footage. When you click these, it'll uh, give you feedback on the buttons. So I'm going to undo that again. Reduce project to say final render and it says 48 items removed. I'm going to undo that again. Remove missing footage, it says four items removed. Okay. Um, now these are going to be useful too. So say I want to look for everything in a big project that starts with WM under slash A. So type it in here, WM under slash A. So I just want to remove everything from the project. Um, okay, so you just click that and six items are removed. Okay, so if you're good with naming conventions and all that, um, this is going to work a treat. Uh, same uh, principle here, if you want to gather up everything that uh, uh, you know, starts with that prefix, folderize all containing. So you can't see that there, but if I collapse, there you go, new folder, and it's found all all the uh, items containing WM under slash A. I could have also searched for basic, everything that contained basic, and thrown it in there as well. Um, okay, or perhaps um, dot PNG. Okay, so. There you can see it's collected all the .pngs in the project and put it into a nice little folder for you. Okay, uh, now create my folders. This is remembered between sessions, so I have some examples in here as well. So um, if you're setting up a, a new project, okay, um, if you just click that button, it's going to make these folders. Um, so they can be whatever you want and separate them by a little comma and a, it's just a quick way of you know if you do the same thing repeatedly you make the same in out folders um, whatever whether you work in TV or film or internet uh, you probably have some little system of working and this just saves you a little bit of work so this is uh, tidy up for uh, Adobe After Effects, um, available on aescripts.com. Uh, my name is Alan Eddy, and thanks for listening. Bye.